Kungarna here on the attack. But wait a minute, Effect, he goes right back into it now. And, and that's the other thing, right? When you have a player like Effect who can just challenge in, you know that he'll stay alive. That's when things get scary, X. Yeah, it's going to be an Earth Shatter, though, coming in from Remix. He gets a Nano Boost as well. You see if he pins Mickey there, gets him de-suited. An Earth Shatter comes out from Coco as well. Taimu putting down some rockets in the sky. You see Effect, though, doing a ton of damage. There'll be a Sound Barrier coming out here for Envy. They're throwing this one in their favor. Taimu getting very close to a rocket barrage as well. That's going to do it, folks. I mean, at this point, this is just not looking good for Kangarna. Barrage comes out for Taimu. Overtime is down. And Kangarna just couldn't make... They got 80% on the first cap. That, that's the best that they could do. But they couldn't make that first point happen. Envy with a spectacular hold on the Zarya. See Taimu landing some shots. He's going to get a nano boost as well. Oh! Three kills with the dead eye as Envy is just rolling right now. Nothing that can, can Garna can do to stop oh. it. That so, is just... That is filthy. That I have to take a shower. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to do it, folks. Envy gets the first point, and just like that, two games down, Envy up two to zero. The great play better than what Kangarna put forward, at least on this second push, so. I mean, you do have a self-destruct, you have a pulse bomb, and you have transcendence here for Envy. So some good ults, you don't have to worry about the Dragon Blade here on the side of Kangarna as well. Oh, he's gonna drop it down, takes out Dogman there, so Ana will back, go back to the spawning room. The beat has been dropped. It will catch a couple members of Kangarna though. Effect will fall, so he's gonna die out there in the point in Taimu. As he uses the dead eye, he's looking kind of going toe to toe here against the Winston. Winston having to get out of action. Sound barrier dropped. Bishu is going to be desuited, and it seems as if Envy, for the time being, are able to maintain composure, and they're able to win this one out four to three. It's a good hole there from point B from Envy. They're able to stay alive long enough. You no know, chip switching over to the maid did a nice job. You no know, putting up more conservative. Here we go. It's going to be overtime, and let's see how Envy are going to be able to answer back. But Kangarna are very close from being able to make this one happen. Yeah, and you saw Coco when he uses the nano boost and he drops down. It forces the oh, support man. outs a little bit early from the side of Kangarna. The primal rage comes through, knocks players back. Kangarna, oh. they get back towards the payload. It's just going to be Michael. He gets a touch, has to rewind, <laughs> then he will fall. It'll be Envy holding on on defense, but they use that nano boost. Coco jumps in. Dogman, you advantage. They can sort of, you know, pick and choose where they take their fights. And in terms of ultimate economy, it's almost equal between the both these teams. So it's really going to be about who once again gets these first initial picks. Well, the good thing here for United is that Cruz almost has a Dragon Blade up. They already have the entry pick. And now Cruz, this is his time. There's no support ultimate to deal with him. And he dives right in. Cruz, one, <laughs> two. We have three. One, two, three. Just not the way one, two, three wanted it. As Cruz picks up the kills he wants and E United as well. Nico using the self-destruct. You see attack visor coming in for AKM, but no real vision here. Not able to finish off any of the players up NRG FE as Muma knocking the players back. Yeah, it's just sweeping them off of the point. There goes Bud. Right now, the win condition for one, two, three is if they force Boombox's Transcendence early enough, Hakiku can just clean up with the Dragon Blade. That, that's assuming that the team don't actually fall with the midst of it, but that's sort of the game plan right now for one, two, three. And especially with Denny's sound barrier, this is 100% doable for them. E United, they need to play up their strengths right now. And Boombox is well protecting the back. Snow has not been able to get back on him here so far. The Ooh, oh my god! What? Voltaya out of nowhere! Oh! Uh, okay. <laughs> that's that DPS, and he called out their star DPS, but we're going to compare the tracers now, and this is a little graphic you put together, Sideshow. Looking at the numbers, you said it's tough when you compare Effect to Michael. It's actually mind-blowing, the difference between these two teams, actually, in, in this particular way. You've got potentially the best tracer in the West against one of the worst main tracers on any of the teams in North American contenders. Michael's been underperforming, but playing his role within the team, Effect has been, at times, hard-carrying Envious in some of these fights. He, uh, Effect is basically first in all of these stats, apart from gets slightly higher... <laughs> Maybe he spends a lot of time doing that happy, right? And he...
sense. You you have to walk to the left to fly. Yeah, there was only 0 0.5 seconds left. <laughs> you had enough. Okay, it's it's cool. GG. GG. Oh, well, probably you should learn how to play Mercy then. <laughs> He's right. He's right. <laughs> Right. Oh, Il faut que j'apprenne à les tuer ces idiotes Il faut absolument que j'apprenne à les tuer Grappine Voilà On débouche Mal hein. Ça fait mal hein, dans ton petit map. One, two, three, gonna be taking map number one off of one crucial mistake, just leaving the point for a millisecond. And that's what you see in those moments where, if you've been in overtime for a while, even being off for a second will cause it to end. But speaking of post bombs, oh, look at this. I just want to see this one more time. Come on. Even though they lost the map, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Pourquoi Non, ça se passait si bien ce cast. Non. Enfin bon, c'est pas grave, on va oublier ça tout de suite. Clipper, envoyer à Edibou. Remember. Ça sera dans 10 ans, 50 ans. C'est -ce impossible déjà, je pense pas que tout le monde soit aware par rapport à ça. Ah oh, si, si, bon. t'inquiète pas, tu chantes bien. Du coup... Il est adorable cet alpha. <rire> Teach your friend? You don't fucking talk to my friend like fucking shit! Shut the fuck up, you little bitch! Oh my god, Oasis! Don't you dare talk to her like that, you little bitch! Oh my god! Yo, bitch, shut up! No, fuck you, man! It's okay, it's okay! No one talks to Beck like that! That's so toxic! literally on the point! What are you talking about? He's got high ground too! And now that me, oh man, and that, that's exactly what you got to be cautious about as well. I mean, he he knew exactly where he was. He had him prepped and ready to go, and he was able to get that shot off. Now just backing away here. They made progress with the payload. They take it right in front of that first point, so they're super close to being able to cap this one. But a lot of ults are coming online for Kangarna. Kangarna is going to have everything. They use a tac visor, nano boost here. It's going to be a what? sound barrier coming. Allez, je passe en mode action. Yeah! Monkey's one HP once again. Fire in the hole! Heroes never die. Uh, great rising uppercut here, but MG is taken out of his mech. And so, we'll see. There's a minute and six seconds left mm -hmm. for MY. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Into the map. And unfortunately, Undead has fallen here. But they're still fighting back on the side of LGD. They picked up two frags. Secure and is gone. And now, late young, you've got to be careful oh, here. Oh, no. And so, we're having some technical, uh, technical difficulty, guys. Sorry about that. I'm gonna apologize now, but still, uh, uh, there was about a minute left. Yeah. Right? They're reaching like the final stretch there. I know, that's why this is terrible. Yeah. All right, All right Taimu, he's got high ground too. And now that me, oh man, and that, that's exactly what you gotta be cautious about as well. I mean, he, he knew exactly where he was, he had him prepped and ready to go, and he was able to get that shot off. Now just backing away here. They made progress with the payload. They take it right in front of that first point, so they're super close to being able to cap this one, but a lot of ults are coming online for Kangarna. Kangarna is going to have everything. They use a tac visor nano boost here. It's going to be a what? sound barrier coming out for the side of Envy. So really just play out so well here. The sight lines are great. It's fun to take advantage of uh, this particular hero here, and uh, I'm pumped to see if we get some sick headshots. I know it's uh, funny, like, you know, after oh, the... Oh, okay, there's a sick shot, shot from Buds on AKM, but it's funny, I know last night, we were having some dinner, and I uh, know me and ZP are chatting, and he was like, no, I, I think you know, Widowmaker could such be a high-impact hero, you know, in the right hands, and you see, you know, that just how much damage Widowmaker does, Buds able to land a headshot on AKM.